Ahoy mateys, welcome back to The Last Leviathan. Today we're taking a look at some behemoth sheeps. I almost said sheeps. <laughs> we're taking a look at some big ships today in this video. Uh, not sheeps. Uh, there's some really cool things I want to take a look at in today's video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. The first one is an aircraft carrier, which a lot of people are saying like, you know, hey, take a look at some legitimate ships. And uh, so I plan on doing that. If you guys don't know what this game is, basically it's Besiege on the Open Seas. It's a very simple building game. People make some really cool things. I made a couple cool ships and stuff. And today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some big ships that people have made in the workshop. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, we have this Nimitz class aircraft carrier this is made by isd procrastinator and uh it looks pretty cool for what you can do uh it's in a wild class and so it's probably got a lot of blocks hopefully it doesn't lag i don't know if it's going to if it does i do apologize uh the game is they're working on that i guess and uh so yeah this thing is pretty massive it's got one two three four guns lots of props down there what's in here what are these Banister things? I didn't even know these were in the game. What are these? Are they down here? Where are these things? Decorations. Oh, oh, I see. They're just upside down. Sideways slanted. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. Let's see how it... Uh, save it. Local save. You have to local save it when you bring in a workshop ship. Okay. Hopefully, did it break anything? No. Whew! Guys, we're down to... 10, 11 frames, 13. I'm going to try not to move it. Thing moves. Wow. The thing moves remarkably well for its size and how many. Wow. This thing is crazy. It moves so so well through the water. This is insane. Okay, let's, let's slow it down for a second here. Can we get these frames to stabilize? Yeah, it's just insane how well this thing moves. So two guns on the sides. It's we are like lagging out hard though. We're at 10 FPS. Like that's not that's not good. What are these little things? I don't understand what these little freaking things are. Get away from me! It's got a freaking claw on the front. It's gonna try to ram me. Okay, I, I can't I can't play this any longer. It's too laggy. Yeah, the thing is okay. So the problem with the game currently is that once you uh, have too many blocks. It gets into the wild ship class size and they warn you like hey you better have a good computer because it's gonna lag and even with my computer it still like drops me down to 10 FPS now I did find out though that the issue is not like the weight or the like how like the power score or whatever it is it's how many blocks you have and so you could make something with tons and tons of guns and minimal blocks and it won't be nearly as bad as having so many blocks one thing I do really like about this ship though is the front of this he's made like a huge wedge and it works extremely well I really 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 like the front of that it's really nice okay so let's look at some other things we have a battleship right here which is made by Seer, Br Seer Bing and uh, it's another wild ship class but it's a little bit is it wild ship yeah it's a little bit smaller, and so I don't know if we're going to have the same issues, but look at all the guns. So we've got the guns in the front here, sight here, we've got the guns on the side. I mean, it looks like a legitimate battleship, you know? It looks really, really good. And so hopefully we don't have, uh, this thing looks so good. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the, uh, lagging out. It doesn't look like we're going to have nearly as big of an issue. I always forget we got to do that. Yeah, so we're we're at we're totally fine. We're at 40 50 we're at 46 frames. So we're totally fine. Because it doesn't have as many blocks. And so just because it's in the wild ship class size, uh it's not as bad because it doesn't have as many blocks and so it's that's really nice in that regard. But it's just it's it, it's in the wild ship class size because of the power of it, because of how many guns it has on the thing. It's got a lot. Look at this. This is sweet. This is a really nice ship. Yeah! We've got a battleship. Fire the cannons! <laughs> uh, let's... Okay, let me back out of this thing. Check this thing out. That is sweet. It's so simple build. It's a simple design, too. What 
I wouldn't have thought to I wouldn't have thought to make this. I made like one big ship and uh it's not too bad. What's this thing turn like? I want to see what it turns like. But look at that. Oh, oh, major problem. Major flaw right there, guys. We just capsized. Oh. That's not good at all. So I I turned. Look at that. If you just turn it, it flips over. Ooh. That's an issue. And I can't turn it back around. Oh, man. Wow. That's an issue. Uh, okay, so the ship I made, uh, I made a couple. They were a little smaller. But I made, like, a legitimate one. Uh, where is it? Where the heck is it? It's pretty big. It's it's. I think it's nicely built. I made a sweet catamaran. That was really that was one of the, one of my uh, favorite builds. I made the rugged hangman. I made this is the one I made the rugged hangman. So this is in Wild Ships two, and it's got and I'm getting 25 frames, uh, because it's like kind of pushing it in terms of blocks. But yeah, this is the ship that I made. I'm really proud of it. It's it's my baby. And it's got tons and tons of cannons on it. Like, really good broadsider. I like it a lot. So that's my ship. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't see that video, if you're interested, go back and watch it. It's one of my first ones. Uh, okay, so the next one we're going to take a look at is, uh, let's see, where is it? It's, okay, the Party Barge. The Party Barge, which is by Ember Embermore. Um, so look, it's got, it's supposed to be like a, it's like a booze cruise ship. <laughs> it's a booze cruise ship. Look, there's like rum in the middle. It's got like the nice, like, what do you call these things? Like cabana, like overhang things. Oh gosh, it's so funny. And I even, oh yeah, look, 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 look. There's even a below deck area. Look at, there's a below area. <laughs> there's rum down. Oh, I didn't even see. Whoa. This is really in depth, yo. This is cool. I don't are these supposed to be like some kind of like fruit dishes or something? These these uh things on the top? I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to be. This is really cool. This see this like had a lot of thought that went into it. Alright, let's sit sail. Oh yeah, every time. Alright. Oh, is it lagging? We're at 10 FPS. And it, it still has a lot of guns on it too, you know? Yeah, this thing's lagging out on me. What if I move, zoom out a little bit if that helps? Wow, this thing's fast. Holy smokes. The party barge is pretty fast. Oh man, it's I'm at 5 FPS. Ah, it's just unfortunate. You can't like really... Look at it. I even if you drop the the resolution down guys, it's still it's still like that. This is really cool. Look at this. You could just like hang out under here. I haven't actually been uh at this like perspective yet. And so it's really cool to it's really cool to see from that perspective. All right, let me I want to look inside here. If you turn the uh the blocks like kind of sideways it gives you like a cool it gives you a cool like door look and then he's even got like a walkway back here this is really well thought out this is a really cool design I really like this a lot the party bard okay next up we have the houseboat this is by um, I think this is by Embermore too I didn't write it down but I'm pretty sure it's by Embermore so another wild ship class size thing look at this thing I'm not even going to drop this thing in the water because I know it's going to lag. Maybe it won't, though. Okay, so it's got, like, a nice, like, walkway. Like, a nice, like... It's kind of, like, Chinese looking. Yeah, look... Oh, dude, that is a really cool use of those keels. These are keels, like the fin things. Yo, that's really cool. I'm trying to get into... Look into the middle here. But I can't figure out how to move. There we go. 
So you come in. There's like barrels and stuff. There's a like a light, like a light in here. I like the fact that he's used like pieces in in very interesting ways. And then there's stairs coming up here to the next area. Like look at how he's used the pieces like to form like cool, interesting looking things. And like even like balconies. Got some rum barrels there. This is really intricate and really well done. These designs are really cool, Embermore. Sweet dude. And then there's like a light at the top too. That's really cool. So the real question is, can we drop this thing in the water? And will it actually do anything? Probably not. There's no movement or anything on it. Alright, let's just see if we crash the game here. By doing this. Hopefully I can delete all these things. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, my ship lost all steering. Okay, we're going to blow up. Wow, yeah, you can't do anything. So it's just for design. It's just for look. But it's really cool. Even, like, has trees and stuff. Like, that's really cool. Okay, the next one on the list is the HMS Spruce Bruce, which is by Honeydew. Uh, yeah, Honeydew. It looks like a legitimate ship. Look at this thing. Oh, it's actually a lot smaller than what I... Whoops. I just got rid of something. What did I do? It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. It looks it looked massive in the in the image. This thing is loaded though. It's in the galley class. Let's see what it's like. It's a legit ship though, look. I mean look, it looks really nice. We've got mortars in the back. Uh what the yo, it's uh It's got a bit of a weight it's got, it's got a bit of a weight problem, man. Uh <laughs> Um, the thing just falls to the ground. What the heck? Wait, is it supposed to do this? What if I get it going? Go, 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 go. Come on up. Is this freaking Davy Jones? Look at this. Okay, uh... The, the, what is that ship called? Uh, the Flying Dutchman? Where it floats up out of the water like that? My dog is barking like crazy out there. Uh, what is with this build? Yo, what, what's with this design, dude? It's not working for me. Uh, it looks cool though, but it doesn't work. Okay, then last but not least, we have the V1 Battle Cruiser by Bob Skabal. And so, I really hope this thing works. It's in the Wild Ship class. It doesn't look like much, but look at the guns on this thing. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look huge or anything, but it looks extremely powerful. 25,458 power. That's pretty cool. Set sail. Look, I'm getting 50 frames. So, this is this is the thing. If you want to get a wild ship... Actually, 63. If you want to get a wild ship class build, you have to focus on armor and firepower rather than like straight up size because currently with the current game how the game is set up it uh just does not uh just does not work work all that well with with just how everything is is that firing off that oh yeah there's that flaming one i was like is it firing off that flaming one and then we ha even have a sight here too i like this site a lot all right see what the movement's like on this beast does it work well? It does. It, it 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 works very well. Yeah, it's very interesting that other one that like capsized and then the one that didn't even work. I don't really understand what was going on with that. I don't think there was a way I should have been using it that I wasn't or something. So I'm not entirely too sure what exactly was happening with uh, that build. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to click that thumbs up button below and feel free to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Last Leviathan gameplay. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun and it's really cool checking out people's builds. Now, and uh, the fact that it's got Steam Workshop right from the get-go really is really cool. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.